What is restriction? Restriction is resistance to flow. A good practical example is a drinking straw. Normally, air flows through the straw unrestricted. Now take that same straw and bend it slightly in the center. It now becomes more difficult to draw the same amount of air through the straw. That's restriction. Similar to the drinking straw, any changes in flow direction in the air intake system created by rubber elbows, reducer pipes, pre-cleaners, and inlet hoods can cause restriction. Keeping restriction measurement in mind will help you as you design or work with your air intake system. Restriction measurement also plays a key role in effective air intake system servicing. Changing filters later than the optimum service point can affect your fuel economy and engine performance. Changing filters too soon is an unnecessary expense and can result in exposing the engine to unnecessary contaminant. The reason? Filters increase in efficiency as dust builds up in the media. Opening up your air cleaner housing to remove the filter for a visual inspection is not recommended. Visually inspecting an air filter can be misleading and inefficient too. A dirty looking filter may still have a lot of service life left, and a clean looking filter can also be deceiving. You can't see the dirt that's embedded deep within the filter media, and carbon contamination may not be visible to the eye. Overservicing and excessive handling of the filter may damage it. The clean side of the filter and the air intake pathway may become contaminated. The air cleaner outlet tube or the engine intake duct are typical mounting locations for restriction indicators, or they can be installed remotely. Here are some guidelines to help you select and fit the restriction measurement tool that best suits your application. Maximum restriction limits are set by engine manufacturers and can be expressed in inches of water vacuum or KPA. If the air cleaner does not have a restriction tap, readings can be taken anywhere in the system between the air cleaner and the engine. Maximum levels are measured at high idle with no load for naturally aspirated and supercharged diesel engines. Turbocharged diesel and gasoline engines are measured at full load with a wide open throttle. Methods for measuring restriction for on-road and off-road applications may vary. The use of a graduated locking step restriction gauge, however, will give an actual peak reading during vehicle operation in each environment. Before we take an overview of key Donaldson restriction measuring tools, here are a few points to remember. Restriction indicators mounted on the air cleaner system are recommended for monitoring restriction levels and indicating when servicing is due. For testing of initial restriction and confirming remaining filter life, we recommend the greater accuracy of a clock type restriction gauge or water manometer. The informer, when mounted on the air cleaner or the dashboard, provides a continuous reading whether the engine is running or shut down. Like most of the mechanical restriction indicators which follow, the reset button which is on top is pressed when filter service is complete. The survey signal mini indicator is small enough to fit just about anywhere. Only 1.66 inches or approximately 42 millimeters high. The Donaldson survey signal shows a highly visible bright red flag in the full view window when the restriction limit is reached. The Donaldson standard visual restriction indicator can be mounted directly on the air cleaner or remotely on the instrument panel or firewall. It shows bright red when the restriction limit is reached and filter service is needed. The electrical indicator is designed for a variety of on and off highway applications where in-cab or remote monitoring of restriction is desired. When the restriction level reaches the maximum recommended limit, an electrical signal activates a light, a buzzer, or a designated computer. The indicator automatically resets itself after the filter is serviced.
The safety signal wing nut indicator replaces the wing nut on the metal end cap of safety filters and constantly monitors air restriction. When service to the safety filter is required, it shows red. The safety signal requires no special fittings or adapters and is designed to last through multiple primary filter changeouts. The service gauge for instrument panel continuously reads restriction when the engine is in operation. It installs conveniently on the instrument panel or almost anywhere. Our in-field service gauge kit is equipped with three feet of vacuum hose to test the air cleaner restriction in the field. It is in a sturdy, compact plastic case. The Donaldson water manometer kit includes the manometer, flexible tubing, green dye, and full instructions. A special shut-off valve eliminates the need to empty water after use. If you question the restriction level, here are some steps to follow to troubleshoot the indicator and indicator port. Remove the service indicator for testing. Test by pressing the reset button to clear. Then create a small amount of vacuum to the inlet of the service indicator. The service indicator should change to red, indicating it is working properly. If the indicator does not change, replace it with a new service indicator. To check the indicator port on the air cleaner, connect a water manometer or clock style gauge and start the engine. If the port is OK, a reading indicating restriction should be present. If no reading is indicated, the port is plugged. Shut off the engine and continue with the following steps. Remove the test indicator connection at the indicator port. Loosen the clamp to the outlet hose connection of the air cleaner and disconnect the rubber connector. Place a rag into the outlet of the air cleaner. Placement should be past the point of service indicator fitting. Now look into the service indicator port and note the small brass filter. This tiny filter is critical to prevent dust being drawn into the engine's clean air path in the event the service indicator becomes damaged or missing. This filter may become plugged over time and prevent the service indicator from working properly. To correct, use a 1 8 inch or 3 mm drill bit to drill out the old filter in the indicator port. Once completed, remove the rag in the outlet tube. Make sure all contaminant is removed from the indicator port and air cleaner outlet tube. Reconnect and tighten the outlet tube hose and clamp. Install a new P100089 or P122067 adapter, which contains a new service indicator port filter. Install a new service indicator and test. This servicing information is provided as a best practices guide. It is not, however, intended to replace or supersede the service instructions supplied by your engine or vehicle manufacturer.